Oh, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another career mode episode here. Unfortunately, Jeju didn't get back to us by the time um, that we got into the game, which is pretty unfortunate. Let's jump into this game. It's going to be the first game of this career mode, so hopefully we can come out of it with a nice win, uh, but who knows. Okay, so first game, we're coming up against Rail Betis. I think this is going to be a crazy game, this one. I generally think this is going to be crazy. Um, so, let's see how this goes. World class against Real Betis. I think they're a better quality than we are, so we got to try and do pretty well here. Get up for this. Oh, it's come to Odiema. Oh, I'm dreadfully murdering every single person's name on this team. I need to learn their names. <laughs> Go on, Matt McClure. Matt McClure. Ah, oh, his touch was so loose. Damn it. Go on, Matt McClure inside. He's killed it. Oh, unlucky. That was a good shot. That was a very good shot. We're probing here. We're probing. Oh god. Oh dear god. I don't even know where that goal came from. It's just one splitting pass and it was in. I didn't even talk. I just didn't react. <laughs> Generally, that was a sick goal. Uh, but it is Real Betis. We've got to remember that. Ruben Castro. I recognise that guy's name. Go on, get up. Oh, how's he missed? Bloomfield. How have you possibly missed that? That's incredible. Oh, what a ball. Matt McClure. Oh, you got to be finishing those. He's had two now. Oh, God. They're, they're doing stuff. They are doing stuff. What a block. Good block. Yes, yeah, get that out. Love that. Paul Hayes down the channel. Oh, they blocked it. Come on. Oh, shit. No, do not concede. Get that out. Get that out. Get that out. Get that out. Get it out. No, that, that's fine. That is fine. It, it was all fine, right? We had that under control. Okay, seeing as it is... A friendly what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch up the team a little bit try out a few different players let's bring on uh, Holloway don't know how good he is or who he is uh, but let's try him um, let's try Bean instead of um, Bloomfield as well um, center backs I don't really want to change those to be honest uh, but we'll bring on Evans for Oni whoever it was um, so let's just do those for now try out a few different players see if it switches up the game a little bit Torres. no oh what a tackle Browning with that tackle. That's what I signed you for, bro. That is what I signed you for. Matt McClure has pulled out on the other side there. Let's get that. Get that. Ah, oh, he's just let it run. Let's cross that in. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh my god, they've done it to me. 2 0 down against Betis at home. Not a good start, you know. I mean, even though Real Betis is a very good team. I uh, expected a lot more, but our strikers are just not there. They're just so, they're so static. There's no one moving. It's just generally no one moving. Look at uh, look how static they are. This team is so bad. Oh my god, no one moved. Generally, no one that just moved, and that is. Oh, we have got so many things to do with this team. All right, so what we found from that first game with this team is we got a lot of work to do with this team generally a lot of work. The back line wasn't actually too bad. Uh, Browning probably played probably the man of the match of my team. But everyone else is just so bad. Generally. But we've got Jeju now coming in. He is accepted. So let's accept that offer. Get this guy in. And let another centre back just to try and solid it up a tiny bit more. Let's see what rating he is. 63 rated. Okay. That's what we want. So let's chuck him in for Pierre right there. Uh, quite happy with that back line, uh, but it's just where we go from there. Look at look what's in front of it right now. <laughs> oh dear God. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and pick up a striker here. Our strikers are so bad in that last game. There was no movement. They were so static. So Samid Yesil, uh, he plays for Liverpool. Let's have a quick inquire about him. I hope to pick him up because he is a very very nice player. He's got a lot of greens around here. Finishing is 71 to 81. So. If we could pick him up, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, so they've come back with 2 million price tag on Yesil, which is not good at all. Oh, God. Should we just go in with a really cheeky bid? Like, let's just go for like 400,000. No, we haven't even got that much. Let's go for 300,000. If they take that, then pff, I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, Arsenal want 425,000 for Tuba Akbon. Very, very good player. Um, if we could pick him up, 
that would be very, very nice. Um, so let's go for 360,000 right there. Um, it's 18 years old, so he's got a lot of potential in him as well. If this doesn't come off, we can just try and get him on loan um, as well, because he's got a lot of pace. I need a pacey striker to try and help our strikers at the moment. Um, Mama Endoy, 160,000 right there. He is in that CF position, which I really don't like. Um, but let's, let's cut, undercut a little bit, 150,000 right there. Um, he's got a lot of pace, so... Okay, so that's going to do for this episode. Uh, we've inquired for a few strikers. We, unfortunately, we didn't get anyone in between last game and this game, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, we're playing AIK. I don't know how they are or who they are. I don't know what rated they are either. So hopefully they'll be a little bit more even this time instead of just playing a sick team, uh, which, which is kind of annoying, to be fair. Um, but... We got a lot of signings to do and we're not getting very far with them, uh, which is pretty bad. But we got Jeju in, uh, which is a good signing. Our back line looks pretty solid now for League 2. Um, so if we can keep upgrading our squad like that, I think it's going to be upwards from here. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.